Dear Alexis, we've been waiting for this day for what seems like forever, but we are finally here. You mean the world to me. I thank God every day for blessing me with you as a partner. I know I'm not the easiest person to deal with, but every day you wake up and you do it all over again with me, and I thank you for that. Hey Trey Trey, aka BD. The time has finally come for us to become one. It only took 10 years. I realized a long time ago that through the time, test trials, ups and downs, and failures, I was meant to be with you. You complete me. As I walk down memory lane, I think of my favorite moments of our love story. I often find myself gazing at you extremely blessed and excited because I know we will do great things together. A once in a lifetime love. I choose you today, tomorrow, and every day after. I promise to honor you, respect you, and stand by your side through the good and the bad days. You made me the happiest man on the planet when you gave birth to our son, making me a father. And for that, I will always love you. Today, you will make me the happiest man on the planet for a second time when you become Mrs. Lincoln officially. with Trey. Okay, I remember that. Those are good times, you know, and uh, there are times when we've done some silly stuff together, you know, maybe I'm the bad influence, but we are good friends regardless of the influence, okay? So I just want to let you guys know, um, I love you, Alexis, and I love you too, Trey, but I love you, Alexis, but I love you together, and I'm happy that you're in love. I can't wait to see you at the altar, enjoy your last moments as Mrs. Miss Copeland, and get ready for the ride of your life as Miss Lincoln. So when it comes to Trey, oh my God, so many stories, so many stories. I've been there. I'm, I'm his younger brother, so it's just like he's always my older brother, and I, we're not gonna get too deep. We're not gonna get deep at all, actually. I, actually, I kind of wrote some, and I want to stick to that. Trey, you my brother. Lexus, I love you. And that was it, for real, for real. That's all I got together when I got together. The last 10 years of friendship has been amazing. From traveling the world together, living together, working together, having babies at the same time. We've been through it all. I've never met a more loyal and thoughtful friend than Alexis. She truly exemplifies what it means to be a best friend. And that's especially true of the last few years navigating motherhood together. We've become closer together, closer than ever, and have shared all of our fears and joys. We've seen the ups and downs and have had us others back, and for that I'm thankful. And that's why I could not be more excited for you to step into this new life with Trey. presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is instituted by God, regulated by his commandments, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and to be held in honor among all men. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has established 
this sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. For as much as these two persons have come hither to be made one in this holy estate, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Those who take marriage vows are brought into the closest and most sacred of human relationships. Their lives are blended into one as the waters of confluent streams are mingled and thenceforth they share the joys and sorrows of life. And from this close intimate relationship springs obligations of the most solemn and lasting character. Trayvon, will you take this woman to be your wife, and will you promise your life to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her, cherish her, according to the ordinance of God and the holy bond of marriage? If this is your intention, state, I will. I will. Alexis, will you take this man to be your husband? And will you promise your life to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him, cherish him, according to the ordinance of God and the holy bond of marriage? If this is your intention, state, I will. I will. By the authority committed to me as an elder in the Lord's Church, I now declare that Trayvon and Alexis are now husband and wife, according to the ordinance of God and the laws of the state of Virginia, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may now salute your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and it is indeed a privilege to introduce the first time Mr. and Mrs. Trayvon Harold Lincoln. share a couple words about my guy, Trey, a.k.a. Harold, a.k.a. Chopper Black. Uh, I actually was introduced to Trey by Rome, uh, but when Rome graduated in 2014, Trey and I decided to become roommates for the 2015 semester. So I'm going to talk to y'all what a day was like with Trey in 2015. So we would wake up and um, he would drive us to school in his cherry red charger with 22s, and we used to stunt and he used to play the same three songs over and over and over again. Um, after class, we used to meet uh, at 83B. And um, we used to run over to Top China and come back and watch Steve Wilkos. I don't know why he used to like watching Steve Wilkos, but he likes watching drama. I said all that to say, bro, the last seven years has been a blessing with you, man. You've been like a brother to me, bro. And uh, the Bible says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. And I know you found that in Lex. Yes, yes.
listening to there, bro, I just want to tell you I love you. I met Alexis a couple years ago, and I know she probably got tired of me bothering her. I was always inboxing her. Are you ready? Are you ready? So I just want to tell y'all that I love y'all. 